Hi guys and ladies, John here. Welcome back again and today we're going to have a quick look at the Aegis, or Aegeus, depends how you want to pronounce it, Sabre. Now this ship is actually only available in the 2.1 of the uh, PTU test uh, environment which is now open to everybody. So what is the Sabre? Well, the Sabre is a medium fighter, but its general task is to be stealthy. Now, as we jump up on the wing here, we can see that although this is still not the complete finished article, the actual level of detail is really impressive. Now, we've got the signature Aegis or Aegis towels, and we've got this large section on top. And uh, there's nothing which goes there apart from uh, actual uh, redundancy um, components for the power systems. Now, there's a couple of these very low pro profile thrusters. Now, obviously, that's to enhance its stealth-like abilities. We don't want anything sticking out too far. So there's two of those on the front end, and there's also two uh, near the rear. Now, as we uh, stand up on this large uh, cockpit here, and we can swing around, you can see that there is quite a large section behind the cockpit. And now, you you think you could put a turret there, but that wouldn't be wise because it would compromise its stealthy abilities. Now, so we uh, let's jump down. Now, there's um, two TR3 engines on the back there, so plenty of power and speed. Now we won't know for sure what the speed will be until it's flying. Now there's also four hard points. Now these are four S3 hard points or you can have a, a variety, a combination. You could have gimbaled S2s or a mixture of both. Now they're supposed to be able to actually um, retract into the body of the Sabre to obviously um, enhance its stealth capabilities and the missiles and any bombs would be contained in the inner bays of the saber to also uh, complete its stealth functions so we're in the cockpit now now you notice that it is red on the outside but from the inside it's completely clear that's just an artistic thing so unless you've been drinking too much and have got bleary red eyes you'll get a clear view from this cockpit. So as we move out, you'll see that uh, it's got some nice control panels. Obviously, it's still work in progress. We won't know what they're like until the ship is flying. Of course, the ship comes equipped with a jump drive as standard and is supposed to handle very similar to the Gladius. Now you've probably uh, seen in the background in my hangar various Aegis or Aegis ships and if you look carefully you've probably uh, spotted the similarity between them. You know the tail sections are very similar on all these ships. Now that's because all the distinct manufacturers for star citizen ships have a certain styling and this does help speed up the actual manufacture of the ships and it's called the Enhanced Ship Pipeline. Well, that's just a quick look at the Sabre, and uh, it's certainly looking pretty awesome. 
Well, thank you very much for watching once again. Now, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. That will help me a lot. So until next time, you take care. Bye for now.